Hey, this is Automate a lot, and today I want to show you how to use image masks in Unbounce and also the big advantages of using them. Okay, so here we have a beautiful picture from Croatia, and of course you can resize it by selecting it and just using the transform handlers. But to crop the image or focus in on a specific area, you need an image mask. And to open it up, just click Edit Mask down here while you have your image selected. And you can see we get a new set of handles with this gray area, which is the part we cut away. So let's say we only want this little coastal town in the frame. We can just move those sliders over like this. And you can also type in values manually to change the size of the frame. So over here, let's say just 400 by 550, and that's it. If you click Done, you can see we have a cropped image. And this behaves just like a normal image, so you can add a border or corner radius, no problem. Now, let's say you want to change the cutout area. You can just go back to the image mask and change the frame by just dragging it around. So for example, to this castle. And down here, you can even zoom in and out. So something like this. And now if you click done, you have your new frame. Using image masks has two big advantages. First, you can download an image, just pop it into the Unbounce page builder and crop it as you like without need for an image editing software. And also you keep the ability to change the cutout area and zoom of your image after you positioned it. And second, Unbounce keeps the original image and from that it automatically creates images with adjusted quality and size. So your site visitors will always get good quality images, but also fast loading times. Okay, so now let's scroll down. And here you see an example of kind of a mosaic where we just used full-size images and cropped them in Unbounce. And you see if I select one and go in the, into the image mask, it's really easy to adjust the frame and also zoom. And if you click Done, the image still fits. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe to the channel. And if you have questions or feedback, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you next time.